With me tonight is the chairman and CEO of the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation, Frank Siller. Frank, so glad to have you with me. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you here very today. much. Frank, there are a lot of people who have done things to try to help us remember 9-11 and the incredible stories of heroism. But for you, this is not just a, an issue because you lived in New York or you were uh, associated with what happened. It's a little more personal than that. Tell me how. Well, my brother was a New York City firefighter who on September 11, 2001, was just finished his night tour in Squad One in Brooklyn. And he's, he was on his way home to play golf with myself and my other brothers. He heard on his radio scanner that the towers were hit. So what do firemen do? They go back. He went, he got his gear. He drove to the mouth of the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel where it was closed for security reasons. Now, for those that don't know, that Brooklyn Battery Tunnel is almost two miles long. Mm. No one was allowed through. He put his gear on his back and on foot, ran through that tunnel, went up West Street into the South Tower. We believe it was the South Tower because we never recovered him and uh, went up those stairs and while saving people, he gave up his life. Mm. Uh, he was the youngest of seven, he was our little brother. He was married, had five beautiful children. Oh my. Yeah, and uh, we raised him too, because by the time Stephen was 10, my parents had passed away. So it was a tremendous loss for us, but we decided very soon that we wanted to honor the sacrifice, not just by Stephen, but all those who perished that day. And we started the Stephen Silla Tunnel to Towers Foundation. 2011, there was the first quadruple amputee ever survive any war, Brenda Morocco, from our hometown, Staten Island, New York, conservative area. Um, and um, and uh, we went and visited him down to Walter Reed. And we said, hey, Brenda, can we build you a home? And we built our first home for mm -hmm. a quadruple amputee. And now we've built 75 homes because we saw such a big difference that it made in his life. And you're doing that for military as well as other first responders who have been severely uh, injured while saving the lives of other people. Hey, I think as Americans, we have to say, hey, you know, when you leave to protect our country or our communities, and when you give your kids a kiss goodbye, and your wife a kiss goodbye, and you don't come home, that we're gonna be there for your families that are left behind. Absolutely. Right. I cannot agree more, Frank. I mean, if there's one group of people to whom we owe our first fruits of the federal treasury, it's our military and our first responders who are on the front line for us and in place of us. One of the things I admire most about the foundation that you have set up over 93% of every dime that you guys raise actually go to the, to the intention exactly. of the organization, to build the homes, to help families. Well, we're blessed because we have a lot of volunteers. I'm on with you here today spreading the message. We have a campaign. It's very simple. We're asking all Americans to donate $11 a month. Hmm. If we had a million people donate $11 a month, I could, every year, for every cop and firefighter that die in the line of duty and leave young kids behind, we could pay off their mortgages. Every Gold Star hmm. family that die in the line of duty protecting their country, we could give them a mortgage-free home. And for any, every catastrophically injured service member that comes back missing three, four limbs or paraplegic, we could give them a smart home, a home that gives them back some of their independence. $11 a month. I think most people could do $11 a month, don't you? Yeah. That's less than uh, probably a lunch out for a exactly, lot of people. Exactly, exactly. So Frank, tell me some of the people that you've helped. I mean, I'm sure that there are moments where tears get into your eyes, not just thinking back about your brother, but also watching the extraordinary need met by the people that you help. You know, uh, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a miracle, to be quite frank with you. Um, as a foundation, we never thought we were gonna do all these things. We just wanted to honor my brother, my little brother. And to think of where we are today, you know, I, I meet the greatest of all Americans. I greet these families. Uh, you know, I meet uh, Jenny Taylor, if you remember, the mayor out uh, who died um, in Utah. Uh, his wife was left behind with seven kids. I met, you know, being with them, the seven kids. She's a spectacular person. You know, they marry these great women that are so strong mm -hmm. themselves because they're always out serving, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's a first responder or a military, they're always somewhere else, you're not always home. Uh, so the, the women uh, that they marry are very strong. Um, I meet uh, tremendous families. Uh, detectives Lou and Ramos, for those who remember, in December 20th, 2014, the two police officers that were in a car in Brooklyn yeah. and some crazy person because it was a false narrative yeah. being preached at that time, that cops were bad. 
um, you know, we immediately raised the money to pay off their mortgages. You know, that's when we started with mm. the fallen first responders. I remember what a horrible thing. They were ambushed and just shot down in cold blood while sitting in their cruiser. Those kind of stories remind us how dangerous it is for firemen, police officers, uh, for our military, and we need to just not forget them. You are our Huck's hero for a good reason, because you're doing heroic work for the true heroes of our great nation. And Frank, thank you. I really appreciate thank you, you very being much. here. What a boy. I have a little something for you. What do you have for me? This is official fire from the Fire Commission of New York City as a 343 represents the 343 firefighters who died that day. Hmm. And of course it has 9-11. This is for you, Governor. Thank you very much. You know, as the son of a fireman, that's why I got I it. truly, truly cherish this as a great reminder of what my own father did. And uh, I'm so glad that people are appreciating firemen in the way they never did before. Come to the run, New York City, last Sunday in September every year, 30,000 people. Your buddy Rudy Giuliani starts, us for, starts it for us every single year. Come and join us. We'd love to have I'll you. I'll tell Rudy he and I will run it together, <laughs> but I'm going to let him carry my 60-pound pack. Okay. How's that? How about 30 each? <laughs> <laughs> well, to learn more, to join a run, or even donate to this wonderful foundation, visit tunneltotowers.org. That's tunnel, then the number two, towers.org, a very worthy cause.